Hello, people. Hi, hello. It's Monday, new day here in Colorado and some parts of the world. Some places is Tuesday already, but it's Monday, the 16th of January, and I'm here back again. So glad to be back. Had a wonderful weekend. Took a time to relax and to spend time with my husband and Spend time at Yeshua and looking at all the crazy things going on, all the protests, all the <sighs> riots and just everything going on all across America, all across the world. Even in Colorado Springs, I couldn't believe the masses of people hanging out in the protest. And I even seen a few people I know and I'm just like, you know, people, well, you know, the Lord have a way of giving messages to his people. And my husband got a message and I'm going to preach this message through the message he was given. And I totally agreed with it. I read over it about two times in different uh, versions of the Bible, the complete Jewish Bible and other Bible, King James version version. And I'm going to probably use both to break it down for you. But I'm telling you, we are heading towards uh, the greatest time a prophecy ever was Daniel dreams, as I was telling you, is really coming to pass. So we need to be really awakened and aware, awakened and aware of all the things around us, people. And I was just listening to Benjamin Faircloth, his new sermon from yesterday, House on Fire. You have to hear it. I will post it down below. Um, wow, just so much happening with the uh, earthquakes are going on. 8.0 happened. This weekend, I think it was Saturday, um, <clears throat> if you heard about the one that happened close to Australia, uh, close to the, uh, I forgot it was in Australia, near Australia somewhere, um, Solomon Islands, I think it was uh, somewhere. Anywhere, uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to just uh, give you this message soon, but I'm going to go over a few headlines, and I will post these headlines down below. 99% of Americans don't know who was really behind the women's march. Not good. And this is coming from the Next News Network. And I think it's something you should look at because it's really true. We don't know who's heading out these things. You know, they was talking about some guy was a, a Palestinian or something. I don't know. But you don't know who's behind these things. I know Soro. I was reading another article from Soro. I will post put down below if I could find it in my files about he uh, was paying certain people, uh, he had certain people behind it as well. Um, United States United States ambassador to, to Israel will live in Israel. United States ambassador to Israel will live in, I will live in Jerusalem, I'm sorry. United States ambassador to Israel will live in Jerusalem by Pastor Paul Begley. I just looked at that a few minutes ago. Uh, I was just looking at from God Healer 7. She's got a short little message from Yeshua. The great deception, a strong delusion. And I think that's where we're heading at, people. A strong del delusion. A strong delusion. Uh, and then they said also in that rally and all that chaos going on, uh, Donald Trump rally masquerade, 20 people was dead as the violence erupted at the pro-Trump event. So 20 people was dead and it's probably more people dead than that. And they're not telling us the truth. Okay. But you know, we already know what's going on. If you really paying attention to the Bible and been following me, my videos, following other people who do prophecy, I'm really going to invite you tonight to come and join me on uh, prophecy radio, uh, with, um, uh, Rick Valor, I mean, Rick Pavia, P-A-V-I-A, Rick, uh, uh, come on, join us on there because he be looking for people to speak out, listen in and call in and give your opinions or just give you an opportunity to witness a little bit, whatever. Give your testimony, give dreams. Uh, I was so happy Ashley joined me last week, Monday. And uh, Roger was even on there participating, chatting in the chat room. And so we had a wonderful little con time last Monday night. And it's this Monday night again at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, 7 p.m. My Time, Mountain Time. And so if you want to join us on there, go to the uh, Google, Go, I mean, go look at YouTube, and you can find him there. You can go to his Facebook page and just look for Prophecy Radio. Uh, make sure you find the right one that says Rick P. 
P-A-V-I-A, Pavia, and uh, and come on and come on live and listen in and uh, and and maybe you can have some things to tell the people yourself. So I'm just going to invite you to do that tonight if you're around tonight. And um, United States leaving United Nations. United States leaving United Nations. That was just a quick uh, email I was just looking at from uh, Stephen Denoon. So uh, I'm going to just have you to go and look at that as well. And um, like I was listening to Faircloth, and he's so right. His sermons are so dynamic. And he was talking about how we need to be giving our life to Jesus Christ and not putting our mind on a man, not on a anybody, a president, a priest, a prophet, a, a, a pope, a nobody. You know, it's true. We need to be giving our life to Jesus Christ. Time is running out. And I was just looking at this article this weekend. It made my heart just break. Um, a man uh, and his family, they was home, you know, watching, uh, getting ready for bed or in bed already. And, and his wife was out as a nurse, I guess, on a night shift. She decided to come home a little early. The kids thought they heard somebody breaking in the house. And he'd get up and get a gun and shoot his own wife. Shoot his own wife, people. This is what I mean. This is what Faircloth is saying. You can go out of this house anytime. You may not come back alive. You may come home to your own house and get shot. You don't know. It's just you don't know when your time is up. So we need to be giving our life to Yeshua HaMashiach, all we can do, clinging to him closer than a, that he sticketh closer than a brother. And we need to do it now, people. Now, now, now. Wait till you see the message that God gave my husband to give you tonight. I'm telling you today because it's just a powerful message. I want you to go and get your Bibles and we're going to turn to Isaiah 32. Isaiah 32 chapter. Isaiah 32 chapter. And, um, and so, uh, you can follow me. I'm going to be going through between. I'm going to read first at the King James and I'm going to go over to the complete Jewish Bible and read some of that from there because it really just breaks it down. But I'm telling you, this is, this is amazing how God can talk to you about these things going on. If you would be walking with him and talking with him, he would show you all kind of things that's going on read in his holy Bible. Okay. So father be with me as I read this word today to the people. I know it's from you, father. I know it's about you, father. I know you are trying to wake us up and, and tell us the things right in our face going on that we can be, uh, uh, uh awakened father and give our life to you and understand that you are soon coming father. So let your Holy spirit come now be with me. And I ask in the name of Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. So it says here uh, in Isaiah 32, a King James Version here first. I'm probably going to stop here in mid, uh, up here at the sixth verse. I may switch over to the complete Jewish Bible because I want you to really understand what he's talking about with these women. Women. My text, my, uh, my uh, subject matter today is troubled women. Troubled women, the vintage shall, the vintage shall fall. The vintage ch shall fall. And so I'm just going to go and let the word tell you what all that mean. Okay. It says here, behold, a king, a king shall reign in righteousness and princes shall rule in judgment. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a conv convict from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land, in a weary land. Don't we have a weary land right now? It's weary all over people. People are in confusion. People are in doubt. People just don't know what to do with themselves. They just don't know what to do with themselves. It's a weary land. And the eyes of them that shall see not be dim, and the ears of them that hear shall hearken. The heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge, and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. Stammerers, people that stammer, you know, they, 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 they strutter when they talk. Let me just read it here from this other version real quick and see what that says in uh, verse 4. Verse 4, okay? From the complete Jewish Bible, verse 4, it says here, uh, The minds of the impetuous will learn to weigh carefully. The tongues of the strutterers will speak readily and clearly. Okay, yeah, okay, that's the same, about the same thing, okay? Will speak readily and clearly. Number five, the vile person shall be no more called liberal, nor the cruel shall said to be 
be bountiful. Oh, Kiro, uh, that's another word. You may not quite understand it. I may not understand it. Let's go see what it says here. It says here um, in verse 5, the mean person will no longer be called generous or the misery said to be noble for the mean person will speak meanness, his heart planning evil so that he can act godlessly, spreading error concerning Adonai as he lets the hunger go on starving and deprives the thirsty of drink. So, you know, the people are all angry. They are. They are angry. They, they want to go against Yeshua. They want to go against uh, uh, whoever is speaking truth, whoever is speaking righteousness. They want to go against these people because they want to do their own thing. They want to have their own, own world, their own rules, their own regulations. They want their own people. Okay, so it's saying here now, I'm going to read it over from the King James Version here, verse 6. For the vile person will speak violently and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fall. The instruments also of the curl are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Even when the needy speaketh right. And verse 7, I think I read that already. Yeah, I did. I, the mean person, the mean person's means are mean. He devises wicked devices to ruin the poor and the needy with lies. Even their cause is just. But the generous person devises generous things, and his generosity will keep him standing. That's right. You know, these people here, uh, they want to just put down the poor. And, uh, you know, you if I don't know. I just know that, like, I, I agree with Faircloth when he says that this man is a pagan ruler. I told you the Lord showed me where he had the spirit of Nimrod. Nimrod was building, 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 building cities all over from city to city. And he wanted to run the people. He wanted to please the people. Well, you know what? It's one man should be pleasing you right now. And it's Yeshua. Hamashiach Jesus Christ because he's the only one can save you people the only one can save you and I'm going to just go over here now and fit, switch over to uh, uh, the complete Jewish Bible and finish reading this out okay because it's coming to some important things here I do not want you to miss out on and fully understand so it says here um, in verse 8 yeah I just read it but the generous person devises generous things and his generosity will keep him standing. Verse 9, I'm speaking to you women out there. All you protesters, I'm speaking to you right now today. I am speaking to you right now through the Holy Spirit of God. You women who are so complacent, listen to me. Overconfident women, pay attention to my words. In a year and a few days more, you overconfident women will shudder, will shudder. Because the vintage will fall, the vintage will fail, the vintage will fail, the harvest will not come. Tremble, you complacent women, shudder, you overconfident women, strip bare, wear sackcloth to cover yourselves, beat your breasts in mourning for the pleasant fields and fruit and fruitful vines for the land of my people, producing thrones and buyers. For all the happy homes in the joyful city, you hear what it's saying? For all the happy homes in the joyful city, for the palace would be abandoned. The palace would be abandoned. The crowded city deserted, deserted. Zion and fortress wastelands forever. A delight for wild donkeys and a pastor for flocks till the spirit is poured out on us from above. And the desert becomes a fertile field. Yahweh is going to pour his spirit upon all flesh soon. Very soon. Very, very soon, people. And then you will see who serve him and who do not serve him. Because even as his spirit come out on all flesh, people are going to reject him. Reject him. They ain't going to want him. Just like I read an article just a while ago. It was a sign. And it said something about... uh. Oh, I really, I should have wrote it down, but I'm going to post the link down below. Uh, it says something about um, if uh, if 
Oh, if Mary would have aborted Jesus, we wouldn't have the trouble we have now. Similar to that saying, but I will post it down below. How can you say such a thing if you're not of the Antichrist spirit? The Antichrist spirit. If if Mary would have, have aborted Jesus, we would not have the trouble we have in today. How can you speak such vain, thoughtless words against the prince on high, Yeshua HaMashiach? Oh, people, we're in for it. We're in for it. We are in for it. Somebody holding a sign up at this same protest was saying this to the world, holding this sign up to the world. And I'm telling you, we are in for it. We are really in for it. We have walked away. We have defiled. We have defiled the nations. We have uh, wa uh, told Israel they're not going to get help. You think you're sure going to stand around and see all this happen before us, people? We are headed towards troublesome times troublesome times as Daniel is telling us. Daniel is warning us. John is warning us. Okay. And John warned us in, in, in 17 and 18 chapters to come out and be separate and be not part of these he heathen, these heathen people, these pagan people. Uh, Yahweh is saying, come and, and come to me and I will fill you up with my knowledge and wisdom through my Holy Spirit. I want to change your DNA, but what do we do? We run to the world. We had three pastors speak at the inauguration. I told you, three of them. And I think Faircloth, he noticed the same thing I'm noticed. Not one of them said, repent America, repent America, repent America. Not one of them, okay? So I'm just telling you people, we're, we're in for it. We're really in for it. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read the rest of this here. I'm in verse, going here, uh, verse 16. Then justice will dwell in the desert, and the righteousness abide in the fertile field. The effect of righteousness will be peace. The result of righteousness, quiet trust forever. My people will live in a peaceful place, in secure neighborhoods, and transguile dwellings. Oh my, nice, nice living places. I can't wait for that day to come where no thief break in and steal or no moth does corrupt. You know, we'll just have heavenly, be in a heavenly peaceful area of nice places to live. Like you say, tranquil dwellings. Just as the forest will surely come down, the city will surely be laid low. The city will surely be laid low. Happy are you who soar by our streams Letting oxen and docks, oxen and donkeys roam freely. Happy are you who soar by all streams. Letting oxen and donkeys roam freely. So, people, we are coming to that. Yeshua sure gonna take care of business. Is what he's saying. He's gonna pour out his spirit on all flesh. You women out there need to know that if you don't give your life to Yeshua Hamashiach and understand he's the only one gonna save you. New Agers and all these uh, astrology groups and all this foolishness and all this uh, Hollywood and and Bollywood and all these things that people get involved in and presidents and po priests and popes and and all these things. People, we don't need this. We need Yeshua. He is our king. He will reign forever and forever. He's going to cut out a stone without hands and set up his kingdom that's going to last forever and forever, as Daniel says already. So we need to be about our father's business, people. Be about our father's business because he's coming soon. I would rather dwell in a peaceful habitation with sure dwellings than to be in the, a city that's going to burn, burn to the ground. Babylon has fallen, has fallen, and we need to come out from among them. Be ye separate. We need to do it today. We need to do it today. If you are following up with this stuff and you uh, participated in this stuff, I'm telling you, you really don't have eyes to see and ears to hear. And you need to be having an eye salve removed where you can see clearly What's going on? What's going on all around us, people? So I, I'm just going to leave that with you today. It was a powerful message. Uh, and then I'm going to go over here and read something from uh, <clears throat> What's Behind the New World Order. I think I'm just read something from there today for my prophecy reading. People, 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 people. We really got to understand that all these, everybody to say, Lord, 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 would not enter the kingdom of heaven. Everybody to say, I have people praying over me. It's not really who they look like all the time. You know, just because a person say, oh, I believe in God. I'm part of God. I'm part of the group. I'm part of this. 
It doesn't really mean it. That's why you sure have to penetrate our hearts and minds and souls. He know righteous from unrighteousness. He know evil from un unevil. He know the ones that really truly love him and the ones that really faking out. He knows. I told you, you can't fake out with him, okay? You can't fake out with him. You can't go and, and, and join the crowd and, and put on the same shirt they wear and, and put on your uh, Christian badge and say, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian. Well, you know, soon and very soon, we're going to see who the real Christians are. And he's going to say, let the whole, let all my remnants stand and remain forever and forever because he said we'll be a remnant. And just because it's crowds and crowds and crowds of people. I was talking to my husband about that last night. I said, you know, people always seem it's the popula popularity matters. And if it's a lot of people. It really matters. Well, it doesn't really matter because Yeshua would have died for one person. And like I said, he always say he would have a remnant. After thousands and thousands of people die in their sins, he will always have a remnant, a remnant, a remnant. So you need to be part of the remnant and not part of the crowd and not part of the all this stuff going on around us every day, people. Knowing that these people want to have they cake and eat it too. They want to have, uh, they, uh, they want to have their marriages, marrying men, marrying men and women, marrying men. And, and, um, they want to have all they pot. They want to have all their drugs and alcohol and they parties. And, and, and that's, that's what they want. That's why they say, we don't want Trump. We don't want nobody telling us what to do. And, and, you know, I'm just saying that's why they didn't, they wanted Hillary because she would have just gave them what they wanted probably, but they want this stuff. They want all this stuff all this false, false living, false living, living is not going to do nothing but take you to damnation and hell fire. That's all it's going to do. People need to be giving their life to Yeshua HaMashiach. That's what they need to do. Put their trust in him and not their trust in a man, not their trust in an economy, not their trust in a preacher, not their trust in like, oh, I'm, I'm almost preaching what Fairclough said today. So I want you to go and listen to his sermon and hear what he has to say about it. Okay. Hear what he has to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and read now uh, just a short verse here on page 52, okay, from What's Behind the New World Order. Rome never changes. Rome never changes. And I think I was reading something about the Pope this week, how he was uh, talking to Trump and telling Trump what he needed to do about the poor people and all this stuff. But you know, they can say all this stuff, but I already know what their hearts are about. So, you know, if you've been walking with Yeshua and reading your Bible, you'll know what the Vatican is all about. You'll know what the uh, Illuminati is all about. You'll know what all these people, who they, who they really serve, and they do not serve the true God of Isaac. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm sure of that. I'm sure of that. Okay. So you need to understand that everybody that say, Lord, Lord, we're not enter the kingdom like Yeshua has told us, like I just repeated. Okay. So I'm going here now and read Rome never changes. Rome never changes. It says here, let it, let it be remembered. It is the boast of Rome that she never changes. The principles of Gregory uh, seven and innocence. The third are still the principles of the Roman church. And had she, but the power, she would put them in practice with as much vigor now as in past centuries. Let the principle once be established in the United States that the church may employ or control the power of the state that religious observances may be enforced by secular laws. In short, that the authority of church and state is to dominate the conscience. Dominate the conscience. You know, everybody love a party. You know, they love all oh, the happy, happy, every old happy day. Oh, I think they were singing this song, uh, uh, the sunshine in me. Uh, what's this song they were singing about the sunshine in me or something this weekend? You think that mean anything? I'm going to post all these links down below. I really hope to take you take time to look at a lot of them are pretty short ones. A lot of them not too long except Faircloth, but you know, I just want you to take a look at them. Okay. Cause they are really just trying to deceive you people, deceive your mind, deceive your mind. Okay. So it says here that religious observances may be enforced by secular laws and short that the authority of church and state is to dominate the conscience and the triumph of Rome in America is assured. God's word has given warning of the impending danger. Let this be unheeded 
and the Protestant world will learn what the purposes of Rome really are. Only when it is too late to escape the snare. Only when it's too late to escape the snare. She is silently growing into power. Her doctrines are exerting her influence in legislative halls, in the churches, and in the hearts of men. Steffily and unsuspectively, she is strengthening her forces to further her designs. All that she desires is vantage ground, and this is already being given her. We shall soon see and shall feel what the purpose of the Rome, Roman element is. Whosoever shall believe and obey the word of God will thereby incur reproach and persecution. So that's what I'm saying. We are going to be, uh, go read Matthew 24. It talks about that. And we're going to be going through persecution. All those that worship Yeshua, Hamashiach, Jesus Christ, and stand for him will have to go through persecution. And so I don't mind going through persecution. He's my God. He's my king. He's going to save me. He's the only one going to save me. So we need to be praying every day, putting the spiritual warfare over our households, people. I'm telling you, this is just the beginning. Make sure you go and listen to Faircloth. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put all these links and news things down below for you to look at. And I'm just going to say one more thing and I'm going to pray. Uh, I just got a testimony here uh, the weekend here from my friend Patty. And I think I, I did tell you about it. Uh, she had sent out the nice DVDs and CDs for me. Uh, and she said, Monitor, I don't have a DVD player and I'm going to send these to you. Maybe you can give them to somebody or you can use them. So I said, oh, Patty, you will have a DVD real soon, real soon. So she, she texts me the weekend and say, oh, I got one. I got one. I got one. And I'm like, that was so fast. Like a few days, just a day or so after I told her she would have one really soon. And you know, the God is a living God is what I'm here to amplify. amplify. He is a true living God that hear our prayers and hear our voice. And he want to help you and he want to save you people. And I just thank you, Patty, for that testimony. Because I, I knew I just saw you having one really soon. And so I thank Father for that. And uh, I just thank Father for all the uh, other testimonies. I thank you for uh, the phone calls I get and people are calling me, writing me. Uh, pray for the brothers in Africa um, is my prayer right now because they really need food very much. I've talked to three different ones this weekend and they really need food and uh, are very much need food. Just can't hardly eat rice or basic food. Uh, can't even pray for bread and water. I mean, just basic things, people. So I, I really need your offerings to come in continue helping them in any way I can. Um, and I just thank you for them in advance. And I ask that you just go now and uh, really uh, make sure you order the tracks. If you need tracks still, don't forget about them. Um, they're really wonderful tracks to be given out right now. Talk about uh, Matthew 24 is mostly what it's talking about in the whole track. You know, it opens up. <clears throat> And it's talking about Matthew 24. But I love on the back where it says here, Time will delay no longer. The kingdom of heaven has come near now. Repent and believe in this gospel. Prepare to meet the Lord your God. I really love that on this track. And I love all was in that track by Sundar. Uh, you can go to www.angeltv.org and go down to the con. Meant, I mean, uh, contact area on the, I think it's on the left, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, they got a rolling uh, screen that comes on his website there where you can, if you can stop it in time and you can do that as well and order these tracks in any language free of charge. Uh, and he will always be glad for a donation, but I'm just saying they are free of charge for your asking. And also the books, you can always re re ask me for the books. Uh, What's Behind New World Order? Uh, you know, uh, the perfect storm is coming. Okay. Uh, from Charles Whelan at www.theperfectstormiscoming.org. Actually, we are going to be having a storm coming in here in a few days. We're going to have another, um, if you've been watching your news at all, the weather over on the West coast, they having a big, big, uh, big, climastic, I can't say these words, but they're having a big storm rolling in, a uh, lot of flooding in California, and so we're going to be having some of the uh, residue from that storm, and it's coming in uh, here uh, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, something like, like that coming to Colorado again. So um, we just need to be praying always, people, praying always. I'm just here to encourage you to read your Bibles and to stay close to the King because soon and very soon we will see things in America you have never seen. You think this protest is a big thing? You haven't seen anything yet. So um, just pray. And Father, I come to you today and ask you to forgive our sins. And I'm asking you to come and be with every name in the prayer box. I lift them all up to you, Father. I ask that you continually bless us, Father, in every way possible. We need your blessings to come in. We need your uh, anointing to fall on your people, your children, Father. We just can't wait for all spirit, your flesh, I mean, all spirit to fall, your Holy Spirit to fall on all flesh, Father. We just need more power, Father. We need more power. And we just thank you so much for your love in every way. We ask that your Holy Spirit just come be with the people watching today. I ask that you supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Yeshua HaMashiach. Asking them, Father, uh, knowing to know that when we ask you for things, they come to pass, Father. We would just trust in you, believe in you, Father. So we just thank Thank you for all the things you're doing for us out there. A lot of people getting healed, delivered, and a lot of people getting things coming to their life quickly. Uh, um, I just love you so much for answering us quickly, Father, when we pray. And I just thank you so much for everything you're doing for us in every way. I ask that you supply all of their needs according to your riches and glory, uh, whether it's physical, mentally, spiritually. And I bind Satan all Oh, I bind him right now again today. I bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. I bind all evil spirits on assignment against this video and the people watching their homes, Father. I ask that you chase them, send holy angels inside their homes, Father. To chase their families, their, their grandchildren, their children, Father. Uh, just protecting their children and these school systems out there, Father. I know I pray every day for my grandchildren, Father. We just need to have protection around our children every day every hour, Father, around our homes, Father. We, I'm asking that I unleash holy angels right now to go on on their assignment posts and be with our families, Father, in these dark days of evil, days of evil. And we just thank you so much for it. We ask it all in your precious name. Amen and amen, amen and amen. In Jesus Christ's name, amen and amen. So people, I'm going to go away and I'll be back again with another video. I just ask that you go and continually pray for the nations and Israel uh, and look at all the links I'm going to post today. I think they all relate to my subject matter that I talked about today. And I thank you so much and uh, God bless you. Uh, have a wonderful and wonderful week. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye.